In this video, we're going to add extra OBD2 ports into the Porsche. I'm going to show you why and how. So let's get started now. Today we're going to add some extra OBD2 ports into the car. Now the OBD2 ports is the onboard diagnostic ports that you get, that you have in your car and there's various reasons to have them, but essentially it's the diagnostics that we use for the, the garage use, mechanics use to determine what's wrong with your vehicle. Um, today we're going to install this and you can see it in the in the description below you'll see uh, what this is. But what it does is it takes your OBD1 and it gives you three more with power switches. Now the reason you may want to do this is, is this is actually was originally going to be going into the Camaro because the Camaro I need a diagnostic port, I need a port for the Bluetooth connection um, and then I could have an, a, an extra one for when I hook up the uh, I could hook up the computer for the tune. So it would give me the ability to just turn them on and off. But we're going to do it for a different reason in the Porsche today. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this and why. All right. So up underneath here is your OBD2 port. And the reason we're doing something in the car today is because I want to add a Wi Fi and trigger unit. Uh, GPS unit to it. Now this is a T-Mobile device that um, tracks the car and provides Wi-Fi data and stuff like that. Now um, when you when you put that in there like that you can see it's easy to kick. It's too it's in the wrong place so we're gonna use this as an extension for that. So what we're going to do is this is very simple it just plugs in and you can see how it's there. And then I'm gonna plug it into one of these. Now I need to make sure I know which way this works. So this is on, so we're gonna turn these other ones off, at least for now, um, in case we use it. But obviously that's on, so you can... Okay, um, obviously it's getting power either way. So I'm gonna say that looks more like it's in the on position. So I'm gonna turn these off. Okay, so this, uh, you can see it is working and it is hooked up. What we're going to take in with all this now is we're going to tuck it up under the dashboard. But this will at least allow that, um, and you can always pull this out, the, the garage or whatever can pull that out and do that. But I wanted to be able to get this up underneath the car so that uh, it's not going to be kicked out and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and mount that up there and that's it for the day. So check the description to go below so that you can see this unit if you have a, a, a need like this. Um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified when we have another video and we'll see you next time.